Okay, in this video we will learn to solve integrals of fractions with sine and cosines in the denominator and the approach that we will take is to use the substitution of t is equal to 10 of x on 2. So if we let t is equal to 10 of x on 2 then the derivative with respect to x, so to t dx, is equal to one half of the secant squared of x on 2, which is equal to one half of secant squared of x can be expressed as one plus the tan squared of x on 2. And since we said that t is equal to tan of x on 2, we can simplify this down to one half of one plus t squared. And rearranging this, we have dx is equal to two dt over one plus t squared. So let's keep this in mind as it is important. The other important things to remember are that sine of x is equal to 2 by t divided by 1 plus t squared and the cosine of x is equal to 1 minus t squared all over 1 plus t squared and if you're wondering how we get these results for the sine of x and the cosine of x I will include a link to a previous video that I did that uh, derives these formulas. So knowing this, let's start with the example. Let's find the integral of dx on 1 plus the cosine of x minus the sine of x. Alright, so the integral becomes dx we found was equal to 2 by dt over 1 plus t squared this one remains as it is plus the cosine of x is equal to 1 minus t squared divided by 1 plus t squared minus and the sine of x is equal to 2t minus, sorry, over 1 plus t squared. And of course remember that t is equal to the tangent of x on 2. So let's simplify this integral. Let's leave the uh, 2 on 1 plus t squared dt as it is over and now let's find a common denominator of 1 plus t squared for the uh, denominator. That didn't sound quite right, did it? Uh, let's find a denominator for a denominator. But uh, hopefully you know what I mean. So we have 1 plus t squared. This means that we have to multiply the 1 by 1 plus t squared. So we have 1 plus t squared at the front minus oh, plus 1 minus t squared minus 2t and these 1 plus t squares can cancel so this becomes 2 by the integral of dt over 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 t squared minus t squared is equal to 0 and we have minus 2t remaining and if I factor out a 2 from the bottom I will get 2 on 2 by the integral of to t on 1 minus t and of course 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1 so as you can see the t substitution is very powerful because we've reduced this integral to a very simple and recognizable one and the result is simply the natural log of 1 minus t and we have to 
divide by the differentiation of 1 minus t, which is negative 1. So we write negative 1 at the front, and plus an integration constant c. And let's not forget that t is equal to the tan of x on 2, so we write as our final answer the natural log of 1 minus tan of x on 2 plus c. So the negative of the natural log of 1 minus tan of x on 2 plus c. Let's do a second example. Let's find the integral of dx divided by 3 plus the cosine of x. So using the t substitution, the integral becomes the integral of 2 dt divided by 1 plus t squared all over 3 plus 1 minus t squared divided by 1 plus t squared. And let's find a denominator for the denominator term again. So we simply multiply the 3 by the 1 plus t squared. So we have 3 by 1 plus t squared plus 1 minus t squared all over 1 plus t squared. And of course we have 2 on 1 plus t squared dt on top of all of that. And we are integrating this. So the 1 plus t squareds and the 1 plus t squareds cancel. And simplifying further, we have 2 by the integral of dt on 3 plus 3t three squared plus 1 minus t squared. And this simplifies further to 2 by the integral of dt on 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. And 3t squared minus t squared is equal to plus 2t squared. And if I factor out a 2, the integral becomes the integral of dt on t squared plus 2. And the result of this integral is 1 over the square root of 2 by the arctan, or the inverse tan, of t divided by the square root of 2 plus c. And substituting t is equal to tan of x on 2 back into the above result, we get 1 over square root of 2 by arctan of 1 on root 2 by the tan of x on 2 plus c. Let's do one more example. Let's find the integral of dx on 2 plus sine of x. So once again, making our substitutions, we have the integral of 2 dt on 1 plus t squared all over 2 plus 2t two on 1 plus t squared. And now we get a common denominator between the 2 and the 2t two on 1 plus t squared, which gives us the integral of 2 on 1 plus t squared dt all over 2 by 1 plus t squared plus 2t over 1 plus t squared. The 1 plus t squareds cancel and the common factors of 2 will cancel as well. So we end up with the integral of dt on t squared plus t plus 1. Now the denominator is irreducible, so we can't write this as 
a multiplication of two linear factors. So what we have to do here now is to complete the square on this term. So completing the square, t squared plus t plus 1 is equal to t plus a half. And if we square this, the result will be t squared plus t plus 1 quarter. So we have to minus a quarter and we're left with the 1. So this becomes t plus a half squared plus 3 quarters. So the integral becomes the integral of dt over t plus a half squared plus 3 quarters. Let's make another substitution. Let's let u equals t plus a half. And so du is equal to dt. And this reduces the integral to the integral of du on u squared plus 3 quarters. And the result here is 2 on root 3 by the arctan of 2 times u on root 3 plus c. And if you don't know how I get this result, I'll include a link in the description box below to another video I did that explains how we get uh, from here to here. And subbing u back in, we have 2 on root 3 by the arctan of 2 by t plus a half on root 3 plus c. And subbing t is equal to tan of x on 2 back into here, we have 2 on root 3 by arctan of 2 tan x on 2 plus 1 all over root 3. And if I have enough room, plus the integration constant c. So I hope this video has demonstrated the power of the t substitution. Please give me a like if you found this video to be useful and please feel free to subscribe for future videos that may help you with your math studies. And uh, if you have any questions, please use the comments below. Till next time, good luck.